Hey folks, Landstrider here. Welcome to episode 4 in season 3 of my Nightmare series. I'm in the Crash Landing mod pack by Iskander. This pack is available on the Feed the Beast launcher by using the pack code BOOM. Okay, so uh, I've kind of walled up my the, the breaches in my ship here that kind of uh, ended up happening apparently during the crash. Basically so that I could hide from spiders in here while I did my intro. And also so I'd have a nice place to retreat if I needed to uh, from the spiders. You can probably hear all the mobs outside right now. So it is nighttime on day three still-ish. I mean, if you want to... Whoa, and he's right there. Yeah, there's a spider on the roof. So, yes, yeah, so I already got one spider after me. He really wants to get me. Okay, so there we go. Spider down. Because we don't want to have another spider fail. Uh, so... How am I doing? I actually, the last episode, made some uh, additional food type, which is, I got some stock. Let's see. And it's going to be a while till I have to worry about diminishing returns. I still got 22 more times that I eat something that will allow me to, before I have to worry about diminishing returns from the uh, Spice of Life mod. What I need to do, though, is I need to get some, what do I need to do? I need to get some water because I'm going to run out of water soon. I've got my furnace. So what I can do for water is I can start turning some of the uh, some of the uh, rotten flesh that I've been turning into dirt and turn some of that dirt into dirty water, purify it, and then add it to my pack. So uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of rotten flesh right now. I won't have some till the sun comes up. And it looks like I'm about out of needles in my needle gun, too. So that's going to be much less useful for me right now. But now that I have a, a hatchet, I have something to defend myself with. So I'm going to go ahead and put the needle gun away in the, extra, the empty cartridge. There's one cartridge in that gun that's mostly empty. But uh, since it's about out of ammo and I don't want to waste any resources right now that I don't necessarily have, I don't have... Uh, well, I have a little bit of gunpowder. I probably could reload it, but it's, but I'm just going to stick with the axe and keep an eye on my radar for spiders. So through the rest of the night, I'm going to be making trees here. Actually, what do I got? Do I have enough iron? Do I have enough iron to make a pair of shears? Because that would almost solve most of my problems. I do not have enough iron to make a pair of shears because I made the pot. So what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and sift some more of this dust until I get enough iron to make a pair of shears. So just going to sift right now and I will be back as soon as I have the iron to make the shears. Okay, I've been sifting for a bit and it's still nighttime, but I got enough iron to make two bits of iron right here that I can go ahead and smelt down into two iron ingots to make myself a pair of shears. This is going to be another thing that's highly vital to your success because once you can, and the sun's coming up on day th uh, three, day, th no, yeah, th no, no, day four, sorry. This will be day four that the sun's coming up on because this is episode four. And you can hear all the mobs dying outside. I'll be able to go out and get some daily rewards. Uh, to help my survival. Uh, more bone is always good. And rotten flesh always good for making more dirt. And you can see how that's going to be vital here in a minute. So I got my iron. Again, I feel these are fairly vital to your success in the hard mode. Because once you get these, you can see we can just get a ton of leaf blocks off of this tree. And these will do two good things for you. Now it looks like I need to go out there and get those. Uh, go out and get my stuff right now. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Keep my strength up with some... With the uh, stock. Until I can get something better to mix with that stock to make some soup. Okay, got them guys. I'm gonna go around, grab my stuff, and get back in there and get back to work. Oh, look at that. I uh, got a 
pneumatic craft seed there. There was an Enderman out here last night, and when Endermen teleport, they have a chance of dropping one of those seeds. So that is good. So. Unfortunately, that particular seed will only grow on end stone, so I'd have to make some end stone to be able to utilize it better. Uh, yeah, you can see the outside of the uh, ship here. I kind of patched it up with some wood block or with some uh, yeah planks, just so I would be able to, you know, have a semi-secure area, at least secure from spiders. I don't have to worry about too many other things getting inside my courtyard here. So, okay, go ahead and cut my tree down, get it replanted. That's always important. Keep a tree growing. But now I've got all this rotten flesh that I can go ahead and make some more dirt with. And I have all these leaf blocks that I can either use to make dirt or I can come in here and use these leaf blocks in here to fluid transpose into some water. And then when I fluid transpose these into water, I have a small chance of getting saplings out of them. Oh, I, I got one more battery left, so I'm going to have to come up with some power real soon. So for that, I'm going to need to sift some more sand to get one more piece of iron. Well, actually, let sift a bunch of things. But uh, let's take a look at the quest book, because I think there might be some other things that I can do before I worry about all that. So if we look in here, uh, looks like I've already completed the even more desperate times, which was to cook some silkworms, which I have done. I've cooked some silkworms and ate them. So I can go ahead and claim this reward, and this is excellent. This is an excellent, excellent reward, because then I get a seed of rice. Very excellent for me right, right about now. I'm excited about that. So that, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go ahead and dig this out right here, because I want to get this clay, for one. I want to get the clay, but I also want this uh, water to kind of stay still. Uh, and then I'm going to fill back in these other little areas with the dust, just just because you can get out of the water here. There we go. Fill that in. Fill that one in and that one in. Uh, and then this one right here is going to get dirt. Great. Uh, problem. Oh, yeah. Now my mattock comes into play. Remember I made the mattock? This is what it's for. It's to till dirt. And I don't have to worry about it running out of uh, endurance because, like I said before, if you make a wooden hoe, which you could do, uh, it'll only use it'll only be good for one use, one use only. So now I've got a bit of tilled soil that's hydrated. I can get my rice seed out, and go ahead and plant that. And now with all of these bones that I got, just hang on, give me a stack. Come on, give me a bunch of them anyway, a bunch of bones. Oops, pick that back up. So yeah, here I got the bone meal. Now I can get myself oh, a bunch of, well, I've got 13 stocks, so I want to get myself 13 rice. And the reason I want to do that, the big reason I want to do that, even though um, I, I've got, a, it's a while till I actually start getting the diminishing returns problem. Rice will fill a lot more hunger than just stock. You see, it fills two and a half bars of hunger and gives me a, quite a bit of saturation. So now with that, I can make that, let's see, 18 more times before the diminishing returns start. I can make that last a lot longer by using the rice soup. So it's going to be a while till I have to worry about diminishing returns. So there, I got another tree grown. Go ahead and get some more leaves. I should have some more dirt over there now, which is again vital for my water production for the time being, maybe, especially if I run out of power in the transposer. So if the power runs out in the transposer, I should, should go ahead and use the rotten flesh. There we go. Use that up. Uh, because if the, f if the power runs out of the transposer, then I'll have no method of getting water. Um, speaking of, looks like it has, in fact, power run out for time being. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the last battery that I have in there for now. Because I'm not too far away from being able to do something about that. Like I said, all I need is a generator of some sort. And the easy generator to make, I believe, the most easy generator to make, is the survivalist generator. It doesn't produce a lot of power, but it will meet my survival needs and 
kind of aptly named survivalist generator. Now I got this pickaxe. I'll just clean these guys up right here. Take pick these guys up. I don't need those out here. And just take these off of the wing here because and then I'm gonna go ahead and replace these wood blocks. Even though this isn't really important, I just like the way it looks if you fix the ship up. So there we go. Fix those bits of the ship, and then I'm gonna fix this back in for the for the window-ish area there. Again, not vital, just aesthetic. Okay. So, uh, back to the quest book, because I think there's some more that I can probably get done in a relatively short period of time here. So, cooking makes a difference. So, I've got a mixing bowl. I haven't made any of these other things, so I believe mm, there's gonna, I'm going to be needing some more iron. Uh, and I'm also going to be needing some smooth stone stuff, so I think that one's kind of out of the question for the moment. But, actually, how am I doing on stones now? I do have enough stones to make two pieces of cobblestone. So two pieces of cobblestone. Now i got three pieces of cobblestone, actually, total. But that's going to let me complete another quest in here. It's an important quest back here, right here. Tools of the trade. I can make myself a stone hammer. I've already made the bone crook. So let's do that. Stone hammer. I don't know if I'll use this very much. I'll probably use up at least this first stone hammer, but then I will probably be moving on to make better hammers. Hopefully by the time this one gets used up. So let's look in here. Now we've got to make some weapon stuff. We need to make a bone knife blade and a bone crossbar. So that is in this stuff. Remember I said I didn't need the weapon stuff till later? Well, it's later. And I'm having an issue with water right now. So let's go ahead and go over to the fluid transposer and get some water out of it. That's what I want to do. Uh, because, yeah, I'm starting to get a little overheated. Grab those out, and I'm going to put these in there and switch this back to fill mode. Uh, there is a better way to do this, but right now it's kind of the only method I have because I don't have the other uh, thing that I need for this, which would be a some kind of tank that this could output to that I would be able to immediately just draw water out of. Which I'll get to that. I will get to that soon, hopefully today. If not today, then soon. So yeah, I can go ahead and why is that? Oh, because I'm trying to put a cold water in there. You don't want to do that. Cold water will not mix into the pack. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that last water bottle in there. So it is pretty much completely full. I've already drank a few bits out of it because I was a little bit low on hydration. So and it doesn't. It looks like I forgot to put my tree back when I cut it down. So let me get that taken care of real quick. I should have three more bits of dirt over here. Excellent. Dirt is good. So get rid of this last bit of rotten flesh. Put some leaves in here for dirt. And remember, I can always fall back on making dirty water and then purifying it in the furnace, which I have plenty of material for that. So if that does run out of power, I still have a source of water readily available. So I'm going to need to just dump some stuff into here. Don't need any of this stuff on me right now. So let's look at, what was I, oh yes, I need to make the bone knife, the bone crossbar. So I need two patterns, which I have enough patterns in here to do, so that's good. Let's get down here to the grow, bone crossbar, or crossbar pattern, I should say. I will then I need a knife blade pattern. I'm going to come over here to the parts builder and put these in here and put some bone in there. And I don't mind having the leftover bone meal because it's always it's always useful. So uh, manual detect those so that I have those. Now it wants me to make wooden armor. Okay, well that should not be too hard. I've got some wood, but not enough. So I'm gonna grow another tree. Ah, oh, looks like the sun is going down again already. So yeah, this is a short episode. I didn't get a ton done. But I did, what did I do? Oh, I showed you rice and how we're gonna, how I'm going to make my hunger last longer. Uh, showed you shears. That's a good thing. Always a good thing, shears. 
So yeah, this is a quick episode. So it looks like I will catch you tomorrow. If you liked the video, leave a comment, like, uh, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. If you didn't, leave a comment anyway, because the feedback always helps me to improve future videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you later.